today on Divorce Court. I'm here because I really just want answers. I'm tired of Michael being gone late night, coming in whenever he wants to. He only spends time at the house like three nights a week. Tania always think I'm cheating, but I let her know I'm with my friends and my family. I'm not cheating on that girl. I would never do that to hurt her. If Michael doesn't change, then because we're locked in this year lease, he can move his stuff to the spare room, and instead of lovers, we can become roommates. Divorce Court is now in session. Good day, ladies and gentlemen. I'm here today with Tennille Walker and Michael Williams. The two of you have been together for a year and a half. You have no children. You're 25, you're 24, you're trying to decide whether or not you should make this permanent. Uh, you're already living together, but you want to know if you should be married. I've got your marriage license. I've also got your um, compatibility test that you filled out. And I want to give an opportunity for you to tell me why you want to be together, but why you have some concerns and need my advice. OK, um, let me tell you. I grew up never wanting anything. My parents or my family took care of me. Anything that I wanted, they were able to give me. And so I was taught growing up that I shouldn't settle for less than that. Mm -hmm. And so that when I date, I need to find someone that can treat me as well as my family did. Mm -hmm. So I met Michael. Mm -hmm. And in the beginning, it was good. Like, he was doing everything that I expected. He was such a gentleman, very kind, loving, caring. Um, he was just like, you know, we're doing well in our relationship. Everything's going good. Let's progress. Let's move in together and live together. This is the next step in our relationship. And I'm like, OK, I got a winner. This is good, you know? We get to move in together. And the person that I met in the beginning is no longer here. So I'm just wondering, like, where is he? How did he change? What did he stop doing? OK, the whole gentleman act is out. Right. That's gone completely. <laughs> Before we lived together, he would spend the night with me like five times out the week, five, six times out the right. week. He lived 45 minutes from me, but he was fine making that dry. We lived together now. If I didn't have pictures in my phone, I wouldn't know what he looked like. He's only, <laughs> I'm serious. He's only at the house about two times, two nights out the week. It's seven days in the week. That's ridiculous. M Mr. Williams, when you two moved in together, did you start to stay out more or is she exaggerating over there? No, she's exaggerating. She started running her mouth a little too much, and instead of me, I just left and just cool off. When you say she's running her mouth too mm. much, what is she running her mouth about? Mm. About cooking and cleaning. And I feel like she's belittled me. She sees a teacher, and I let her know that I understand you're a teacher, but there's certain ways you should talk to people. We both adults. Well, what kind of things does she say to you do you find uh, that she's treating you like a child? She say, Things like, listen here, I'm telling you, and point her finger at me. I'm not like, your dog. Listen here. <laughs> yes. I'm telling you what yes. you need to do. Now, Ms. Walker, are you treating him like he's one of your students? No, I don't. Um, Michael tends to act like a child at times, so I try to remind him that he's an adult. The only time I like say something is because he doesn't fix nothing, he doesn't do nothing. Like, say something breaks. I'm like, hey, babe, can you fix this? Oh, let me call somebody to do that. I can call somebody to do that. I have a phone. What are you here for? Does he know how to fix it? You know, not just because he's a dude oh, that means oh. he has a mechanical head. He, oh, he says, he says he can do everything. But when the time comes, he calls somebody to do it. I understand you <laughs> suspect he might be seeing somebody else. Why is that? Michael stays gone from the house late at night. He doesn't come home until, like, 5 in the morning some nights, sometimes not at all. It's been multiple times that I call and I don't get an answer, or I'll text, no response. I'll FaceTime, and then he'll text me back, like, hours later, like, oh, I was with a friend, or we were busy doing something else. Um, for six hours? No, you didn't look at your phone for six hours. Are you, are you away from home a lot now that you're living together? You kind of have not. your entertainment elsewhere? No, I don't have. Mm. I be with the fellow. You know how 2K mm. gets. I be how playing what two, is? 2K basketball game. You know, my phone be off and I play the game. <laughs> and you know, me and the fellas just play the, the game. Fella. Now, did you increase your time with 2K and the fellas a after you started 
living with her? Because she seems to say that there's a stark difference in your behavior mm -hmm. between the time you were courting her and when you got her in the house. Right. The behavior change is due to her belittling me. I no. feel like before it gets worse, let me just leave and calm down and come back and talk about this when well, we both calm. What is she calm. saying and doing that runs you out of the house? What, For first, days. She bring up other guys like that's going to make me stay. That's not going to make me stay because I'm not going to compete with no other man. I'm going to leave. Well, I think she's concerned because you spend a lot of time with one of your best girlfriends. Is that true? No. Mm. Not oh, at all. Oh, wow. Well, well, Ms. Walker, you tell me that story. Okay, so he has this close friend, so he says, but we've been together for over a year and I never met this close friend. Never been introduced. Whenever this friend calls, he walks out the room to talk to her. Um, we came up with this rule. We said no calls after 11 p.m. because just out of respect. Right, right. So it's about one. Phone rings. He gets up, goes into another room for about an hour, come back. I'm like, who was that? What, what's going on? Is everything okay? An emergency? Mm -hmm. He says, oh, it was my, you know, my friend. Do you know who we're talking about over here? Do yes. you know who she's talking about? Yes, I know exactly who she's talking mm -hmm. about. Has she ever met this friend of yours? Mm -mm. She hasn't. Do, don't you think that's a little odd that your mm. very best friend hasn't met the woman with whom you live? Right. right. See, she works at a hospital. So wow. Ty, we wow. just had a, we had a recent we had a recent housewarming. She was supposed to come. She couldn't get off work. I would love for them to meet just okay. to prove to her I'm not cheating. Would you be concerned if the tables were turned and she had a very good male friend that she saw all of the time, but he could never manage to make his way over to your house? Mm. Only way I would be concerned because she has a problem with she always flirtating. She's flirtatious? Very flirtatious. Why don't you tell me what she does mm. when she's flirting? She don't know how to tell a guy she has a boyfriend. So she just flirt. So I went through her Snapchat one day, and it was a long thread. And Judge, I had to read it three times for me to believe it. What did it say? She's saying, oh, I can't wait till I get back from Cancun and come see you. Not mentioning me not one time. OK, I got you. I got you. Hey, Have what? you ever, during the course of your relationship with Ms. Walker, cheated on her? I mean, now's the time mm. to be honest, because we're trying to turn a page ever. here right. to decide whether we're going to marry or we're, gonna, or we're not going to marry. Right. So now's the time. Have you ever? Do you know what text thread he's talking about? I do, and it was just a friend. And I have even asked Michael to meet this friend, and he's like, uh-uh, uh-uh. I ain't meet you no dude that you friends with. That was on him. That was on him. So I have offered that. Can I tell you something? Yes. Michael... <laughs> <laughs> Michael and I have had problems beyond social media and stuff. Like, OK, we tried to clear up. We tried to have a fresh, clean start. New Year's came, we're like, let's have a New Year's resolution. We're just gonna remain abstinent, okay? No, no sex, none, none of that. We're like, okay, that's cool, we do it. It lasted like two weeks before, <laughs> <laughs> before, you know, you know. So after that, I was like, all right, well, we done messed up now, so we can just keep going, you know? But it, we didn't, like, there was no sex. And so I would ask him, you know, What's going on? Like, can you know? And he was just like, oh, we're, we're remaining abstinent. Like, Have what? you ever, during the course of your relationship with Ms. Walker, cheated on her? I mean, now's the time mm. to be honest, because we're trying to turn a page ever. here right. to decide whether we're going to marry or we're, gonna, or we're not going to marry. Right. So, now's the time. Have you ever? Don't it was lie. one time. Girl. There was wow. one time. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Was it with the woman that you spend a lot of time with? No. It was somebody else entirely? Mm. Yes. How long ago was it? It was, well, right now it's probably been about a year. No. Okay. You say now he's only interested in sex if there's another woman involved, if there's threesomes. Right. So, like, I was like, okay, you know what? Uh, one night we were laying, laying down, and I heard something, like, some moaning noise. So I turned over. And he's on his phone watching porn. So I'm like, oh, OK, he's in the mood. And now it's time to go ahead and make the move. Um, no, he shut me down so quick. So I'm like, what? What is it? You know what? Let me see what else I can do. So I was like, I came to him and I'm like, what do you think about a threesome? Like, you want to? And he's like, yeah, yeah, let's go. <laughs> I'm like, 
So you didn't want to be with me, but if somebody else is involved, then you're all for it. I didn't like that. Did you stop having interest in her sexually at a certain point in time? No, ma'am. It's just that when we made that commitment, I understand we made a mistake and did it within two weeks, but there's nothing wrong with trying again and staying absent. Why do you want to stay absent? Not that it's a bad thing, but I'm just asking. Well, I want, I mean, we both came to, you know, wait till we get married and then we could continue. Mm -hmm. And I feel like there's nothing wrong. She was all for it until we made the one mistake. Why continue? One mistake. Well, you will, you, you want abstinence and then, but, but a threesome's okay. Right? No, she wanted it. She wanted it, and you said no. I didn't I'm say not no. Doing no. That. no. No. I'm no. not interested in you and another woman. I don't want to do it. No, I didn't say no. But she came up with the idea. She wanted all this to happen. No. She just wanted me to be the participant. No. What What it is is that he's he's with somebody else, and he just didn't want to tell me. Like we were, if we're not having sex, and I offer a threesome, and you're like, okay. But look, if we're not having sex, something going he, on over there, Mr. Williams, and, and like, something don't seem and right one, to me. And one night, like um, we had an altercation, we were arguing. He's like, "All right, I'm gone, gone." He comes back the next day, and he was like, "Oh, I need to tell you the truth. I spent the night at a friend's house, but I just slept on her couch. Nothing happened." Mm -hmm. I was like, "You want me to believe that?" I got you. I got you. Michael was like, oh, I want to prove to you I'm not doing nothing. I'm not doing nothing. Go through my phone. You can look. You can look. And what I saw was lies. And it just made me upset. And I just threw the phone. I wasn't aiming for the TV, but I threw it and it hit is the Is this TV. a constant issue or is that an unusual event? Why has Michael stopped having sex with Tennille? Tell us what you think at facebook.com slash divorce court. Divorce Court will be right back. If you would like your case to be heard on Divorce Court, call us toll-free at 1-877-311-2222 or log on to our website at divorcecourt.com. Follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at Divorce Court. My understanding is you have concerns about her issues with anger. Right. Tell me about that. She has a problem with keeping her hands to herself. Just recently, she tried to break two of my items with one move. She took my phone, threw it at my TV. TV <laughs> broke. So either something was gonna break by you doing that. <laughs> did you throw his phone at his television? I did. What were you mad about? Because Michael was like, oh, I want to prove to you I'm not doing nothing. I'm not doing nothing. Go through my phone. You can look. You can look. So I guess he thought by him saying, oh, go through my phone, I was going to be like, nah, all right. Since you want to say go through my phone, I'm going to leave you. So I said, okay, let me see. And what I saw was lies. He had been lying about where he was, who he was with. And it just made me upset. And I just threw the phone. I wasn't aiming for the TV, but I threw it and it hit is the Is this TV. a constant issue or is that an unusual event? It's a constant issue, and also she threw it three times at it. So you pick, you literally got <laughs> up, picked up the phone, went back, and kept throwing it. I, I, until it broke. Mr. Williams, do you want to get married? I do, mm -hmm. Your Honor. Why do you want to get married? I want to get married because through all this, I understand I do love Tennille, and I just hope she changes so we can go ahead and What does she need? What do you want her to change? First, I need for her to change and accept me and, like, let these guys know you have a boyfriend. Do you not tell other guys you have a boyfriend? I mean, like... <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. No, like, like, that's not... When I first started a conversation, I'm like, hey, I got a boyfriend, so what are you doing today? It's just, like, they never asked, so I don't really say nothing. Do you want to marry Mr. Williams? I just want, like, the lies to stop. I want to feel secure knowing, like, if he's going out with his friends, go. Like, I, I'm, like, off work. I encourage him to go out, go have fun. But I just want to know that you're not doing nothing you're not supposed to. I don't want to be worried no more. I just want truth. I want honesty. You don't believe he's truthful, you don't believe he's honest, and you do believe he's cheating, but you want to marry him anyway. Mm. But what because you're I don't have me. any proof. I don't have any proof, but it's just his actions. Give her a 90-second sales job while you're the man for her. Well, Make I'm it a good one. Hmm. I'm Don't look at me while you're saying it. Okay. Mm. I'm the man for you because I'm not out doing those things. I'm not cheating on you. I love you. 
for you. And also, Your Honor, if I didn't love her, I wouldn't have put the deposit on a ring. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> what? Ms. Walker, 30, uh, 90 second sales job, and why you want to marry him? I do want to marry you because I love you unconditionally, and you're my support system. You're my teammate. We have fun together, we laugh, we cry together. You're like my best friend, all in one. And I'm happy with you when things are good. When we have bad times, it's not the worst. When we have you. bad times, it's not the worst. Thank you. <laughs> Can I say something, Jill? Oh, gosh. Yes. And I, I want you to know, if you see this ring... Let me see the ring. What, you will want to marry me what, what? yourself. <laughs> It really is a lovely ring, and you put it, and, oh, and you put the bill on there. Not bad. It's not cheap, either. Thank you, Judge. And you, <laughs> you, <laughs> okay. You only put $100 down on it, but all right. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you what I it's got to say. Do you think that Tennille and Michael are ready to set a wedding date? Share your opinion on Twitter and Instagram at Divorce Court. Divorce Court will be right back. Ms. Ms. Walker and Mr. Williams, I think a lot of people come in here on Before Your Vows and don't have any clue what it is to be married. I wouldn't even, and I don't think anybody should ever consider marrying somebody that they don't trust. Absent the trust, the laughing, the good times, none of that has any value because that, that's the foundation of your being together. So if you two are hiding the phone and walking in and you can't meet my friend and I'm not going to introduce you as my girl, that's not a place of trust and fidelity that you can build on. So I don't even know why you guys are wasting your time thinking about that kind of thing. Um, I hope you can get a refund. <laughs> um, <laughs> Because I don't think either one of you are mature enough to make this work, Miss Wa Walker. <laughs> you know, I got to believe when I'm out of town and I don't talk to my husband and can't find him, I got to know I have not got to worry because I trust the dude. And if you don't trust the dude, then he's really not going to ever make you happy and secure. Second thing I got to say in. And I say this to women all the time. Everybody, I'm all old-fashioned and whatnot, this, that, and the other thing. But I got to tell you what, I got my man for 30 years. He ain't gone nowhere. He ain't done nothing. Don't move in with him. Don't do it. Mm -hmm. You lose your leverage. Yeah. Well, you going, he going, you going to do, you know, because we, when we move in, we get to house cleaning, we get to cooking mm -hmm. and this, and we get into caring for him and all that kind of stuff. And then he says, huh, my house is taken care of. Huh, the meals are made. All right, let me go out mm -hmm. because I got this laid down at the house. Don't move in with him. Don't do it. If, you, if he really loves you, he needs to honor you with the rest of his life before you start making him a meal. That's just my opinion. Yeah. You know, that's just my opinion. So I'm going to tear this little marriage certificate up because you guys got no business with it. And, 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 and what you need to do, move out, move on, move forward. Uh, look around. <laughs> there are a lot of dudes out there and there are a lot of women out there. Make sure you get one you can trust and love. This matter is adjourned. <laughs>from the judge, I can honestly say I don't feel like I'm ready to get married. We're not, we're not in that place or that space right now. I guess I just look for something else. Like she said, there's other guys and don't move in with them. <laughs> I've decided that I'm going to take my time and see if I really am ready for marriage. Because after that, I feel that, you know, she's right. The judge was right. If she can't trust me, then we shouldn't get married. <laughs>